mid-June, and I'm about to prune my Persian lime tree. Now, you might ask the question, Persian lime in Michigan? Well, they, tropical plants can be grown in Michigan as long as you put them in containers and take them inside. Now, we're in zone 5B, which is considered a temperate area, and citrus grows in what we call subtropical or semi-tropical areas, and they're in zone 7 to 9 which means they do not like temperatures below 32 degrees, which we can get down to like minus 20 here in Michigan. The large limes that you see in the grocery store are Persian limes. The other limes you normally would see would be the key limes, which are much smaller, about the size of a walnut, and those are the ones that you are using in key lime pie. Now, as limes ripen, they're harvested when they're mature, but when they're fully ripe, they take on more of a yellowish green color as opposed to green. And the interesting thing about lime trees compared to, say, temperate trees like apples or plums or peaches, with my apples, they bloom in the spring one time, they produce their fruit, and then I harvest in the fall. But citrus trees like this one, lemons, oranges, limes, can produce flowers, small fruit, and ripe fruit all at the same time. Now, <clears throat> pruning the trees is also a little bit different in that uh, with my apples, for instance, I like to open the canopy up so that sunlight can get to the middle of the plant and uh, give good color to the fruit. This is not necessarily with limes. Um, in, if you were to go down to Florida, you will notice the trees are much thicker, and even though you may have fruit in a shaded area, it'll still ripen just fine. Now, down in the south, one of the reasons they want a thicker canopy is because the sun will cause scald on the trunk. Up here in the north, you're less likely to have that problem, so it's not as important. But the trees still do look nicer when they're fuller than they do when they're thin like this one. Now this one's been growing inside during the winter months, and as a result of that, you'll notice that the branches will be long and there'll be quite a bit of space in between the leaves. And that's because of the low light levels. So as we bring this plant outside, we need to acclimate it to the high light intensities so what we do first is we put it in shade for about two weeks till it's acclimated to the sunlight and then it'll start to grow um, uh, new branches and leaves. Now when we're, we're pruning we have just a couple of goals that we need to deal with. One is we want a well-balanced tree and as a result of the pruning we want to encourage new growth which we're already seeing here and if you have any dead or diseased limbs you want to take those out or limbs in a bad place like along the trunk down below the graft union or below your lowest branches, those should be taken out. And the final thing we want to take out is crossing branches. And in this particular tree, there's only like one crossing branch, so that won't take long. Now the time that we would normally prune them up here in the north, as soon as we take them outside and they're acclimated, then we can prune them in the spring and the new growth will get started right away. The one thing you do not want to do is prune a citrus tree just before the cold weather moves in because then you're more likely to have damage. So let's get in here and make some cuts and we'll be finished in just about 10 minutes. Now growth that's growing right here is so soft I can just simply snap it off with my fingers and I don't really need the pruning shears. And the same is true for the branch just above here. It's right here. I can, If it's too hard to pull off with your hand you can always, that's a little tougher I should have maybe cut that off, but you can just cut it off with uh, some pruning shears. Now I've chosen this branch to be my highest branch on the tree, so everything else has to be lower or no higher than that. So the first one I'm gonna take down is this branch right here. And I'm gonna cut it back to a side branch, right there at about a 45 degree angle, and I'm gonna take that off. What I choose to do is start in the middle and just work my way out. So I want to go to a branch so that I can decide which way I want things to grow. And also, when you finish pruning a tree, it shouldn't look like you've done a lot of pruning on it. And I'll just kind of go around the circle now. This here is going to go back just a little bit. Now, this branch is growing straight up. I don't know if you can see it from there, but I'm going to take that off. Here we have two parallel branches, so I'm going to take the lower one off. And I'm just going to trim this back a little bit. I don't want to leave this big stub here, so I want it about um, 
maybe no more than a quarter inch above the leaf bud. I'm always looking where the leaf is because the bud is in the axle of the leaf there. And I'm going to cut this one. I think I'll go down a little lower. And some of these branches kind of hang down. You'll have to decide how far you want them to hang down. Now I'm going to trim some of these lower branches. I'm not going to trim them too much. I have some fruit on there. Here's a branch that's broken, so that's going to be taken off. And I'm just going to trim these a little bit. I don't want them hanging down too much. Now here is a lime right there, so I'm going to leave that one. Well, on second thought, I'm going to sacrifice this lime because there are plenty of them here and there are more flowers on them. Here's some crossing branches in here. See how this one goes, crosses across this one, crosses across this one. Now it's loaded with flowers, so I'd have more limes if I wanted it. So I have to decide what I want to do. But since I have flowers in other locations, I'm going to take this one out, way back to the branch up here. And then I'm going to take this one out because it's hanging a little low. There's, there's a lime on that one too, but I could lose that one. Okay, this is what I pruned off. You can see I just kind of dropped it around the outside of the tree. And this is what the finished tree looks like. And it's a little bit more balanced. Uh, there's probably a couple of cuts I can make still, but not much more off of this tree. And basically, that's how you prune uh, a lime tree.